going on YouTube? It's your boy J Rose. Welcome back to the page, Ghost Fly Kicks. We are back with another dope video. First and foremost, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so that way you'll be notified when I upload new content. And I'm doing it just for you guys. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Ghost Fly Kicks because there you'll see a lot of sneak peeks of what I post. Also, you see shoes for sale, news, and things like that. So, first and foremost, guys, um, I apologize for kind of being ghost for a minute. I just uploaded a Laser Orange 3 today. There's gonna be a whole lot of videos coming out of order. I got a backlog of videos. And unfortunately, when I get busy with my personal life, um, I just bought a new car and things of that nature. So sometimes it slows me down. So I apologize and I'll be trying to rectify that, but be sure to check out these new videos. We got so many videos to post. I gotta show you guys how I um, updated the green on the Lucky Greens. I really wasn't feeling that green. So what I did was I made that green darker. There's a look right there, guys. So that way you guys can see what I did. Also, we got reviews on shoes I haven't done yet like like the air jordan one biohacks be sure to stay tuned for that review coming soon i really love these shoes also we got a review on the satin snakeskin jordan once for women's coming out too so it's just a lot of shoes coming on top of the psg fours so guys just continue to be patient with me please support this channel be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and be sure to tell others to subscribe and that way we'll grow this channel together but without without any further ado today's review is on a dope shoe that I think kind of got slept on because people didn't really understand it. I gotta give a shout out to Lady Leo and KLT for the assist to let me get this pair because I didn't own it myself. But here guys, we're going over the Air Jordan 6 Women's Light Smoke Gray. Originally released in 1991, the Air Jordan 6 is the first silhouette that Michael Jordan won his first championship in, designed by Tigger Hatfield. We all know the history, but let's talk about this shoe. Drum Brands made a concerted effort to try to acknowledge and appreciate women in footwear and sneaker designing. So you're seeing a lot more collabs with women designers and also a lot of shoes for women exclusively. So this is a women's exclusive Air Jordan 6, and this is really dope. I really like that Drum Brands made a lot of these silhouettes and shoes for women. However, some of them I do think would have been better off as a general release because of how popular or the design of the shoe. I'm not saying that women should get like more feminine or unique looking shoes, but at the same time, I think they kind of missed the ball on some releases by making it so limited, like the off-white Jordan 4s, for example, amongst others. So let's talk about this shoe. This shoe released a couple weeks ago, and it is really a really unique shoe. I think it's a under, I think it's a slept on shoe because a lot of people didn't really understand what was going on. I don't think Jordan Brand did a great job with the storytelling of the shoe, but let's go on over the shoe. You've got a charcoal gray with a light smoke gray suede. People thought this was patent leather, but it's really not. It's really just a clear translucent plastic and there's a neoprene boot underneath it. We've got our iconic Jordan 6 tongue done in light smoke gray. Got some really unique uh, lace locks, a clear translucent lace lock with a sky blue jump man. We're gonna way down to the midsole. We've got a sail midsole with a couple hits of black to accent that color. On the outsole, we have a predominantly sail outsole with that milky translucent pods, and then we got this blue jump man right there in the center. One feature that I do like that really took me back to my high school days was this kind of Jumpman keychain. I remember these used to come on the Jordan 1s, particularly like the Jordan 1s, the patent leather Jordan 1s that came out like in 03, 04. It wasn't quite this big, but it definitely put me in mind of that. And I kind of like this touch. Working our way to the heel, we've got that dark anthracite kind of gray suede with a white silver Jumpman. Actually, yeah, with a silver Jumpman. And then for the spoiler, we've got this milky translucent spoiler. All black insole with white Nike Air. One of my legitimate complaints about the overall design of these women Jordans are the fact that they've replaced the traditional black thick shoelaces with these more woven thinner shoelaces. And I don't know if they're supposed to be lighter or they feel a little easier on the touch for women, but I really think it's a disservice because these shoelaces aren't cheap, but they're really thin and they really throw off the aesthetic of the shoe. I think that a lot of these shoes would actually look better with a traditional black lace instead of these thinner laces. I, I don't know. I really don't like it. I just don't like it. We've got our black Jumpman 
overlay on the tongue with a silver jump man. We have a blue exposed air bubble. Now let's talk about quality. So as we know, especially with like suede and new book materials, there's varying degrees, even leather, there's varying degrees of quality. And sometimes we cannot, we, we misjudge quality based on tumbleness or pebbles or longer hairy suede. So this shoe has decent materials. I won't call it premium. And for a retail price of $190, I would say this one fits the bill as pretty much like pretty good for Jordan brand, not exceptional. On this toe, you've got this dark anthracite suede. And as I brush it, you can see it changed colors with the strokes. So it's not bad. On the lateral side, we've got that light smoke gray suede. And when I brush, this one seems to be a little hairier and a little harder to brush, a little bit more coarse to the touch. And then working our way back to the heel, the anthracite suede returns. And it's a long, hairy suede. Once again, you see the brush strokes and the brush motion as I rub my fingers over it. So not a bad shoe at all. Um, I'm not a huge fan of a white slash sill outsole, especially with like these milky pies. Now one thing, we gotta just be realistic. We know that the Jordan 6, the Jordan 11, the Jordan 5, any of those Jordans that have a translucent out so they're going to get dirty as you wear them so unless you're protecting them with some kind of sole protector they're going to get dirty however when you have a predominantly white or cell outsole those are going to get dirty after the first two wears like pretty noticeably so unless you're cleaning your pairs after every use which i recommend or you're going through the whole deoxidation process which i have kind of put on my page you're going to have dirty soles so these look beautiful right now but once they're not very practical in, in use is what i'm saying Overall, these are a dope shoe. Um, not necessarily a must have, um, but you know, I can't argue with this. This is a dope shoe. So interesting design. Um, it definitely makes the shoe a little lighter uh, and increases breathability, probably because there's so much suede on it. They probably probably felt the, uh, it was a little hot inside the, the shoe, so they wanted to increase breathability. But to my knowledge, there's also no 3M, and that's kind of a bummer. You know, Jordan 6s are iconic for the 3M hits. And to my knowledge, this shoe doesn't have it. So what you're seeing is the exposed neoprene booty on top of the plat translucent plastic. All right, guys, and this concludes my review of the Air Jordan 6 Women's Light Smoke Gray. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you like this pair. Did you pick them up or did you pass? Also, be sure to subscribe and tune in for other reviews. Like I said, we got the Lucky Greens with my custom spin on it. We got the Biohacks. We got Satin Snake Skins. And we got a lot more coming, guys. And PSG4, excuse, excuse me. So a lot more shoes coming, guys. I appreciate the support. This is Jay Rose checking out for Ghost Fly Kicks. I'll see you later. Be well.